what's up welcome back to my channel i'm here with my second back to school video i know i'm kind of late on the train for this because a lot of you guys are already back in school but i thought that like a school makeup routine could always be useful so that's what we're here to do today personally i like getting ready for school i like putting together my outfit and doing my makeup it's just part of my morning routine so i always do it it's like my me time in the morning let's get into it ladies and gentlemen this is my back to school makeup routine I'm ready. One thing that I always do even if I'm not wearing a full face makeup is put sunscreen on. This is my Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen in SPF 30. I haven't really tried out a ton of like SPFs but I really like this one. I think it's doing its job. I always get sunburn right here so we're gonna pack her on. Someone asked me before if this one was oil free. I'm not exactly sure but it does not make me oily so I don't know what you want to do with the information, but there you go. I'm going to go in with foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I talk about it literally all the time. I don't see myself using another foundation anytime soon. I don't like super, super full coverage foundations. I feel like this just gives me the perfect amount of coverage to look fresh and nice on my skin. I'm in the shade 445. I'll usually take just one pump on the back of my hand and then I'll go in with my Morphe M439 brush. I freaking love this brush. It has reminded me how much I love using brushes to blend out my foundation because it's so quick and easy you use less product and i just think it gives a more i think it gives a more natural look some people might think a beauty blender does because i don't know some people think a beauty blender does but i personally think a brush does the trick For concealer, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. And I just put a little bit under my eyes. And also on my eyelids. And then I'm just going to blend this out with my finger. Hold on, I need a mirror. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I really I feel like Jeffree Star with this mirror. It makes me feel like a real life beauty guru. And I love it. So again, I don't like to use my finger because I feel like I use less product in my finger. The sponge just feels like it soaks up so much product. Like usually I would use like two pumps of foundation when with a brush, now I only use one. With concealer, you usually have to keep going back in with concealer and adding more and more until I feel like I have like good enough coverage. But when I use my finger, I always have like the perfect amount i am obsessed with liquid highlighter i always have to put it on because i feel like more than anything this just makes my makeup look fresh and glowy and amazing so i never miss this stuff i just take some on my finger and i will use my middle finger to blend it out and then i'll use my ring finger to soften up the edges like that And then whatever's left over, I'll put a little bit on my nose. I'm gonna set my face with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in Air Light. And I'm taking my Morphe Y11 brush. I'm setting my under eyes. And then lightly going over the rest of my face. Now I'm going to do my brows. I just started recently tweezing my brows myself. So far, haven't botched them yet, so that's good. But I just start out by brushing them upwards. I got this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Tim Pen, and I really like it because if you guys can tell, I'm gonna wear my inner beauty guru right here. If you guys can tell, it's focusing on my face. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, I think, right? Ooh, there we go. It has these little like brush stroke things that are supposed to get the look of micro braided brows, micro bladed, micro blading. You know what I'm talking about? It's supposed to look like little brow hair strokes. I think it makes your brows look super natural and it's an easy way to get like a perfect brow. So I just do little strokes. There we go. And then I'm just going to lock them into place with some brow gel. 
and I do that same kind of like upward outward motion like that those are my brows gonna put a little bronzer on this is my Maybelline city bronzer which is honestly my favorite bronzer at the moment and I'm just doing little motions like that you know, just a little bronzer and blush does so much for your makeup. It just makes you look more alive and awake. Because with the foundation and concealer, we gave ourselves a nice, clean, even base. And now we're going to bring back colors and the definition with bronzer, blush, and highlights. So that is why I love them so much. And I especially love blush. This is the Milani in Bella Bellini. This stuff is so pigmented. So I just use like barely any light pads and sweeps there you go this blush is super pretty because it has like darker pinks lighter pinks and it's also very shimmery i'm gonna go back in with my bronzer and a morphe m533 brush sweep this over my eyes just a little bit down my nose i do this in literally like two seconds just like and there you go. I'm going to use a little MAC Fix Plus to set my face. Mm. Yes. Just pretend you're on a tropical island instead of getting ready for school. And now we're late to school. Sometimes I won't even add highlight on top because I feel like the liquid highlighter gives a super nice glow. So I don't really need anything. But if I do, I will use my Wet n Wild highlight in I'm So Lit, the loose highlighter. And just barely anything that I don't even have anything on the brush. I'll just go over the highlight and on my nose. A little bit of mascara. I'm using the Milani Highly Rated Mascara. This one's really nice because it really makes your lashes look super full and very dark. So it's like falsies without the falsies. And we love that. Our last step is lips. And honestly, I just wear chapstick most of the time. This is my Laneige Laneige Grapefruit Glowy Lip Balm. This stuff is super good because obviously it's a lip balm. It keeps your lips super moisturize but it also kind of looks like a gloss and it gives your lips a little bit of color so this is super good and this right here ladies and gentlemen is our completed school makeup routine like i said before i love doing makeup for school it is just a part of my routine it's my me time if you like doing full beat to school good for you if you like wearing no makeup to school good for you everyone in between good for freaking you in my experience i have just heard people you know rag on the girl that wears full wing full glitter lashes to school being like ain't nobody got time for that i don't have the energy for that in the morning and i've also heard it on the other end too where people are like dang that girl literally looks like she just rolled out of bed in the morning to each their freaking own i understand both ends of it let's just respect everyone and how they choose to get ready for school they're comfortable with the way they look and that's all that matters but i hope you guys found this video helpful whether it's finding new products finding new techniques Techniques. If you enjoyed watching today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, anything you would like. All my social medias will be linked in the description down below and will be shown somewhere on the screen. So go follow me on there as well as subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in my next video or somewhere else on the internet. Bye! We'll be all right.